What is good everyone? We are back at it again with another video. We are staying consistent out here. Today we have a shorter styled video. I'm gonna show you guys how to master captions in DaVinci Resolve. In order to do it the fastest possible way, this will require the studio version, but don't worry because you can do this manually. It'll just take some time. We're gonna go over a few things. We're gonna go over my favorite caption, a few viral fonts that you guys should be using, and how to animate text. And the most important part, how to automate your captions. Let's get straight into the video. So here in my video, we have here a main clip right here as you can see this is a talking head video I filmed for my latest YouTube video. Now I've turned off all the effects on this video so that we can mainly strictly focus on the captions themselves. So coming over to the left I'm gonna grab what's called a text plus. Over to the left side and hit titles. You're gonna come down and choose what's called a text plus. Drag that into your clip. Now this is just essentially you could do whatever you want to this text. I wouldn't really dabble into the just the regular text. With this text we're gonna choose a few fonts. Now right now I'm about to go over a few fonts that I think you guys should personally be using. Number one, Gotham Ultra. This text is amazing, it's slick, it's it's nice, it's, it's perfect for short form content. And if you put it in all caps, it looks super good. So this is what we're looking like for this caption right here. It looks super nice. Now we're gonna move on to the next caption. Guys, this is the next caption. As you can see here, it's called Necta Rust Sands. I'm using the trial version, I'm trying it out but I really like it. I'm about to purchase the whole version so that I can start using it in my videos. This font is super cool. I like how it has this rust look to it and it's super bold. It's not perfect when it comes to the outline of the, the shape, which is kind of like what I like. I think it's super cool and I dig it. Now for the number three, you're gonna go for a slick font, kind of like thinner styled font and you could turn it into a bold. This one is called Railway Font right here as you could see. Um, so you could turn, here's what's really cool about it. You could turn it to like a light to where it looks like this, or you could turn it to a really bold, black, thick look. So guys, there are the three fonts that I am using personally and my personal brand. Copy me, whatever you wanna do. You can find these on DaFont or bfont.com for completely free. Now we're gonna move on to animating the text. You can do this a few different ways. So with my font that I'm using, I'm gonna use Necta. With the font selected, I'm gonna go into Fusion page. Now, with the template one selected, I'm gonna do Shift Space and search for a glow. I'm gonna enter in the glow, and as you can see here, the glow is a bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the glow size so that it's more of a spread, and I'm gonna turn the glow actual glow down itself. So now it has a subtle glow look. Now what I'm gonna do to the text is I'm gonna hit shift space and search for a transform. Now don't use this transform right here, use this one. This one will get your animation to look better. It's the more basic version, but you're able to control it better. So we're gonna add that in after the glow. Now under the position, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down just a little bit on frame zero, and I'm gonna take the pitch, and I'm gonna put the pitch up like this. So now with my position down just a tad and my pitch down just a little bit, on frame zero, I'm gonna keyframe both of them. So keyframe the position Y and the pitch. I'm gonna go one, two, three frames ahead, and I'm gonna turn them both back to zero. Now we have something like this. It's good, but not good enough. So under the spline tab, I'm gonna zoom to fit on both of them. Unselect the pitch and zoom to fit. You're gonna highlight both of these and hit S on your keyboard. Bringing this top one down, you're gonna wanna bring it like this to make it like a little up arrow just like that. Unselect the position Y and select just the pitch. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Zoom to fit, select it, hit S and bring this down. This will give it a way better look. Really faster and more buttery, okay? To complete this animation, we're going to go to the settings and apply some motion blur. I like to leave it as is. I think the quality at two is perfectly fine. Now, this is what we're left with. Okay, good, you're one step closer. Now we're gonna make the caption look even better. Back in the edit page, we're gonna go to shading. We're gonna go to number two and select the red outline. Turning the thickness all the way up, we're gonna go to the color and we're gonna turn it to completely black and you're gonna select okay. Now, if we place this above my video, now you could get a general basis of what it looks like, but we're gonna do one more thing. Go back into the Fusion page, go under the glow and hit shift space and search for a drop shadow. Now, it's gonna look good already as is, but we're gonna make it look 10 times better. Turn the shadow strength up quite a bit, turn the blur down to where you could see it. Now, we're gonna take this drop angle and put it, push it right around there and push the drop distance very close to it. Kind of play around with it, get a good solid look, put the distance as close as possible. But now if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see it gives that subtle shadow effect right off of it instead of just a big blur. So now if we go in here, now we have this super cool looking text. 
and now you can start using this for your captions. Now into the last part, which is animating it. This part is done with the plugin called Snap Captions. I will link the video down in the description. That's a whole separate video. Some guy made it completely free for DaVinci Resolve. I really highly recommend that you use it. Now, once you watch that video, come back to this section right here. Okay, so now we're gonna start captions. Under the timeline, we're gonna go to create subtitles from audio. I'm gonna put mine at 10 maximum characters per line and we're gonna press create. Okay, now you have your captions. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through, make sure they're all good. Now this is where we put into snap captions into use. So using this template that I made previously, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this into my snap captions bin. I'm gonna name this Necta Outline. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different presets. I'm gonna come to workspaces, scripts, comp, snap captions. Now under my templates, I'm gonna choose which one I wanna use. So the Necta Outline we just made, I'm gonna remove the punctuation and go to all uppercases and then we're gonna generate it. Now, last step um, is preferably, but on important words, I'm gonna change my caption to red. Okay, so this is a key part in the video. I'm saying comment the word blah, 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 right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come under the color, under the exact text that I want, and I'm simply just gonna turn it red. Now, once you highlight the important parts of your captions, you should be done and now you're left with something like this. That is going to conclude the video. Like I said, it was gonna be a short one. Thank you guys for watching. Go watch all my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get it editing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.